Hey guys, what is up? So today we're going to be doing some fly fishing, but I'm going to be using a different method than what I normally use. If I can grab it here, I am going to be nymphing today, which uses a strike indicator and standardly two types of small nymphs. And my uh, this nymph right here is a caddis nymph. I have no idea what this nymph is, but uh, they've been hitting this nymph. So we're going to try that today. And I'm going to stick with it all day, and I'm going to try and catch fish. Um, it's a good technique for summer fishing, or summer fly fishing, I should say. And, yeah, let's uh, test it out. Okay. Made it to the river. And a couple things when nymphing is you don't want, you want the least amount of line touching the water as possible. So basically, you want to hold your rod up as high as you can so the um, line's not dragging your nymphs around, so it looks way more natural. And yeah, that's about it, I think. I don't know, I'm terrible at nymphing. I'm actually just trying to practice for this fall when the salmon and steelhead run, because uh, it's an effective method, and I've only caught two steelhead on a fly rod and never a salmon, so I'm just gonna give it a whirl, I guess. Go. We got a nymph fish, boys. Maybe I don't know how big he is. He's fighting that current really good. He does not want to come on this side of the current. Oh, he's on the. He is on the little nymph. I gotta play him carefully. Cause that nymph's on lighter line than the uh, little woolly bugger. But still, you need to do this carefully. He does not like being hooked. I think it's a rainbow. percent sure. Okay. Come on this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Yeah, it's a nice little rainbow. Come here. Come here. Hey, no. small hook I don't want to force him but there we go and the nymph popped right out take a look at that the second pre I let go of pressure the nymph is right there in the net I'm gonna bring him to shore and I'm gonna get a cool picture and get the uh, tripod camera on him okay so I did forget to charge my GoPro remote which is my bad I also, yeah, that was it, I think, yeah. So I'm gonna go back, keep nymphing, hopefully catch another one. Oh, got another one. not happy. Oh no. 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 Stay. No. Oh Jesus. He is not happy. 
I gotta get down there. What the heck? Uh-oh. I don't know what hook he's on. I'm pretty sure he's on the nymph ball. He's running at me, he's running at me. Now he's not, he's got big head shakes. Oh, he's on the, he's on the little fly. He is on the little fly. That ain't not good, that's not good. I didn't English there for a minute. Feel, oh man. Looks like an okay fish. Another rainbow. Yeah. Smaller. Just put up a good fight, wow. This was literally five seconds after me catching that last one. So the GoPro remote's not gonna be charged right now. So we're not gonna have that third person view. But this should work out. You can see, stop, stop, be, go easy. Oh, the nymph R just popped out. It was in the net, it was in his mouth. But wow. If you do not keep pressure on these fish, you're not gonna keep them on, there's no way. So I'm gonna get him out of the net and back into the water. There he goes. Maybe one day he'll be 18 inches or even 20. Who knows? I got another one, what the heck? Oh, it was a little one. I was trying to get back up on the falls and what the heck? Wow. Since that last one, I, will, I have another one. What? 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 What is going on here? It's literally been five seconds. I was joking last time, but this is no joke five seconds. I wasn't even back up on the falls where I was standing. This one is on the small fly again. What is going on here? Oh, this fish is fighting weird. Oh, he's he's got he's missed. Looks like a little brown too. Yeah, he uh he foul hooked. Wow, that's weird. He is hooked in the fin. Like He's hooked. Okay, easy, easy. Don't do that. I don't want to get the hook in me. Yeah, he's hooked right in the... Wow. Beautiful little brown, but... Very little guy. That is two fish, no joke, within a minute. That is ridiculous. I was, I was trying to get back up on the falls where I've been standing. But, wow, that's weird. That's crazy. There we go. This is ridiculous. Again on that little nymph. Don't, 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 don't go in between my legs. Don't do that. No. Uh-oh. This is now a tangled mess. I need to net him. He is going up. Oh. Come here. Stop that. Ooh, that's a brown. Oh, wow. That's not good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. This fish is really digging hard. It's not a big fish at all, but it is a brown. There we go. Oh my gosh, this fish is beautiful. Oh, 
I'm gonna see if my ro Wi-Fi remote will just work for just a few minutes because this fish is beautiful. Okay, so again, Wi-Fi remote is not working, so I'm just gonna have to get in close with this fish with the chesty. I have not caught many browns this year. There's not been a lot caught. But this is by far, I think probably is one of the most beautiful ones that I've caught so far this year. He's long and skinny, which is kind of weird for these fish, but he's got a way bigger mouth than the rainbows do. And these fish are uber aggressive, but you can see how he's got that nymph right in his mouth, struggling with the chest mount here. But I'm gonna get the nymph out. He's got way sharper teeth too, by the way. And I'm gonna bring him Back into the, oh. Well, there he goes, I guess. Okay, so where I'm fishing right now, there's uh, two different, there's two kinds. There's those, I don't know if you can pick them up on the GoPro, but it's on the far side of the river and there's a slack water in the middle. That's where the first fish came from. All the other fish afterwards have come from this side. I've hardly even touched the fish in the middle. So I think we should be able to pick up quite a few more tonight. Oh my gosh, I got another one. I was, I was picking a knot out of my fly line. It's not a big one. But it is putting up quite a fight, actually. Really big, real, eh, really big head shape. Come on, I wasn't even, oh, I've got that knot in my line. It's only gonna get worse. Okay, he's gone right into the calm stuff already. Come here, come here. It's another rainbow. Hello. No, 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 no. Come here. No. Oh, I think this one's on the uh, top fly. This one's on the woolly bugger that I'm using as a uh, large nymph. It's an unweighted one. Oh, no, 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 come here. Come here, come here. No, no, come here. Come here. No. I'm looking like an idiot doing this. Got line everywhere. Come here, come here, come here. Just, come here. No, no more games. No more games. There we go. Simple, easy, and I can deal with you very quickly. So, whoop, looks like he already popped out. Yeah, these fish are very lightly pinned. You wanna get out of my net, come on. There he goes, got him on the net. Another one, and my mother is watching, so that's pretty cool. It looks like this one came on the, whoa, feisty little guy. I wanna say it came on the top limb? No, it came on the bottom one. So I need to be uber careful. Oh, it did come on the top when I lied. There we go. I'm gonna let my mother take a f picture of it and uh, then I'll let it go. Well, on this note, I think I'm gonna quit. Got this all knotted up and I don't feel like retying at all. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time when I go fishing.